Hi there, and this is Hoo-Ha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. Well, as we talked about it yesterday, Newcastle are certainly making a nuisance of themselves at the very top of the Premier League. Well, a good kind of nuisance, roughing the status quo that's normally accorded to the Big Four. And the Newcastle fans in Malaysia have found their voices again and are not holding back on their comments. As read on the Toon Army Malaysia Facebook page yesterday, Ki Zhen Hong throws one at the former Newcastle player Jose Enrique, who moved to Liverpool simply because, according to him, they lacked ambition. While I like what Kevin Green posted, what's Alan Pardew's brew? And to Jason's comment at the bottom, dude, if it was Viagra, all the Newcastle boys would definitely be scoring, even Tim Krul. Yes, it's nice to see a different team mixing it up with the expected regulars and with a lot less investment to the squad compared to Manchester City or Liverpool. That's something we'll look at on tomorrow's episode. But the question is now, can the Toon Army hold on to third or maybe even go second as they're only one point behind Manchester United? Or will they start slipping because they do have very, very tough fixtures in November? So let's look at the lineup for this month and at the start of December among the top seven. But in all honesty, it's best we isolate Manchester City. They do have a five-point advantage and for the moment look most likely to keep it that way. City's next encounter is against QPR at Loftus Road. Then the Toon Army at home, Liverpool at Anfield and Norwich at home. Minimum two wins and two draws in those four, don't you think? Now let's see what the rest of the pack have in store for November. Manchester United have Newcastle on the 26th but also face two stubborn hard to break down sides, Sunderland and Aston Villa. Newcastle as mentioned yesterday will face all the three of the top four sides. Chelsea will have Liverpool on the 20th and at the rate they are going will even find it tough against Blackburn this weekend at Ewood Park. Spurs and Arsenal look to have one of the easiest lineup for November while Liverpool will have Chelsea and leaders Manchester City to deal with. And things could look a lot different after match day 14 going into the second week of December. And just for argument's sake, this is how I see the league panning out after all those fixtures. United will still keep second. In third, well, not because I'm a Spurs fan, but the fixtures seem to point that way. And they do have that match in hand. Arsenal too, look to obtain 100 over 100 in all their November fixtures. While it's a toss-up between Chelsea and Newcastle, only because Newcastle have a tough three out of four ties, they will be in sixth. Liverpool, well, they aren't impressive at all. And I think the Newcastle boys will be happy if they finish above Andy Carroll and Jose Enrique. The one factor that I've not accounted for is the European fixtures where the top seven are involved, except Newcastle. Could prove to be vital. And can Newcastle's lack of spending power be a lesson to the rest? We'll look into that tomorrow. Until then, from the team here at Wuhan Sports, thanks for tuning in. But it's bye for now.